Okay, today we're going to take a look at the ratio of surface areas and volumes of similar solids. So you were to do the exploration first, and from the exploration you would have discovered that given two similar solids with a scale factor or scale similarity ratio of A to B, the ratio of their corresponding areas, so a lateral area, a base area, a surface area, is A squared to b squared. And the ratio of the volumes is going to be a cubed to b cubed. So in example number one, it's telling us that circle A is similar to, or I'm sorry, cylinder A is similar to cylinder B. So the first thing we're going to do is find the scale factor. Now B is larger, okay, we're comparing a to B, so in going from A to B, we got larger. So we need a scale factor greater than one. So if we take in divide 10 by eight, we can get the decimal or just reduce the fraction. The scale factor is 5 fourths. If we take and multiply, okay, eight times 5 over 4, do a reducing, 4 goes in 8 twice, 2 times 5 is 10. Given this scale factor, find part B, the height of the larger cylinder. So we can do the same thing, 12 times 5 over 4, let's write this over here. We can do cross canceling, 4 goes into 12 3 times, and 3 times 5 is 15. We're not given a unit, so we'll leave it as 15. The ratio of the base areas. So the ratio different than the scale factor. So that's comparing left to right. Remember our similarity ratio, let's write that. Left to right is 4 to 5. So the ratio of the base areas, so any area, okay, so part C, that's another, find the ratio of the lateral areas, both of these are going to have the same answer. So that's going to be 4 squared to 5 squared, which is 16 to 25. And then the ratio of the volumes would be 4 cubed to 5 cubed, which equals 64. 125. Looking at example two, there on the left, it says the cylinders below are similar. Find the scale factor of cylinder one to cylinder two. Now this is the scale factor, not the similarity ratio. So what's given is we have the surface area of cylinder one is 288 square inches, and the surface area of cylinder two is 128 square inches. So in comparing left to right, we know that 288, the ratio of the surface areas, 128, is equal to A over B squared. So to solve for that, I need to take the square root but this fraction right here is not, okay, the numerator nor denominator perfect square. So let's reduce it to see if we do get a perfect square. So 288 divided by 128, that fraction reduces to 9 fourths, which both the numerator and denominator now are perfect squares. So now when we take the square root, Okay, we will have the plus and minus, and we'll have to reject. Square root of nine is three, square root of four is two. So our similarity ratio, okay, from here, cylinder one to two, I'll use the Roman numeral, the ratio of our, okay, say radii is three to two. The scale factor, okay, so we take the reciprocal, so the scale factor 
is two-thirds. So what that means is if we took this radius of three and multiplied it by two-thirds, we would get the radius of two. And three over one, the threes would cancel, and one times two is two. All right, the cones on the right. So now I'm looking at the volumes. Given the volume of the cone on the left is 108 pi, and the volume on the right is 256 pi. Okay, we know the ratio of the volume, so 108 pi to 256 pi equals the ratio cubed. Okay, so we're going to have to take the cube root. The pi's are going to cancel out, and if you go to the calculator, you can't take the cube root of 108 or 256 to get a whole number. So again, we're going to reduce that fraction, which reduces to 27 over 64. Both 27 and 64 are perfect cubes. So now when we take the cube root, the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 64 is 4. So what that's saying is this radius, the ratio, the similarity ratio, is 3 to 4. The scale factor is the reciprocal of 4 thirds. So it's greater than 1, and our cone did get larger. So what that's saying, again, is if you take this radius and multiply it by 4 thirds, they cancel 1 times 4, you get the radius of the larger cone. It's what you multiply your dimensions by, your scale factor. Part, uh, or example 4. It says the length, width, and height of the prism are to be tripled. Describe the effect on the surface area and the volume. So if this prism is going to be tripled, you can take its dimension and triple it and then calculate your surface area and volume of both and see how it's affected. But if it's tripled, that's a 1 to 3 ratio. So for your surface areas, that would be 1 squared to 3 squared, and then your volumes, 1 cubed to 3 cubed. So the new volume, okay, our new ratio is going to be 1 to 9, and the volumes 1 to 27. So the surface area says so describe the effect. The surface area will be nine times as large or larger. And the volume will be 27 times as large. Okay. Number five. It said, given, given cones A and B that are similar with a scale factor of five to two, find the surface area and volume of cone B given the surface area of cone A and the volume of cone A. Round to the nearest two decimal places. So let's draw two cones, one larger than the other. So cone A is the larger one, and then cone B is the smaller one. So they have a scale factor of 5 to 2, so let's say that's the radius as our dimension. So scale factor of 5 to 2, the surface area and volume of cone B given the surface area and volume of cone A. So here our surface area is given as 2,356.2 square centimeters, and the volume is given as 7,000. 450.9 cubic centimeters. So to find the surface area, I'll create two columns. So here will be surface area and volume. We know to get, let's call the surface area of the smaller x, and let's call the volume of the smaller y. 
So given the similarity ratio of 5 over 2, we know that we need to square that to get the ratio of the surface areas. So this ratio is large to small, so that uh, similarity ratio squared equals 2,356.2 over x. For volume, let's set these both up and then solve. For volume, it's going to be 5 over 2 cubed equals 7,450.9 over y. So take a moment and solve both of these. Okay, as I put the work up on the Promethean, so the video will keep going. You solve, and then at the end, come back and see if you get the same answer as I do. Okay, to explain my work, I didn't square the fraction first, but however, 5 squared, okay, is 25 times x, and then 2 squared, 4, and then times that cross product, divide by uh, 25, and I get 396.992, so it says round to two decimal places, so the surface area of cone B is approximately 376.99 centimeters squared. Over here, 5 cubed is 125 times its cross product uh, y, and then 2 cubed 8 times this, divide by 125, and I get 476.8576. Um, so round to the two decimal places, the volume of cone B is approximately 476.86 cubic centimeters. Now let's finish with number six. It says the surface areas of two similar figures are given below. The volume of the larger is given. Find the volume of the smaller. So the surface areas are given. So this is the surface area of the small, surface area of the large. And it says that the volume of the larger is given. Find the volume of the smaller. Well, we know, okay, for surface area, and volume to find the, well, let's call the volume of the small x. We know that we're going to have to cube our similarity ratio, and that would be equal to the ratio of the volumes. If I do small to large, that would be x over 500. But I need that similarity ratio. So what we do is we use the two surface areas that are given to find that similarity ratio. So we know to get the surf ratio of surface areas, we square the ratio um, of your corresponding sides or your similarity ratio. So A over B squared equals 16 over 100. And we can take the square root. We don't have to do any reducing because the numerator and denominator is already a perfect square. So A over B is equal to positive and negative, reject the negative, square root of 16, 4, square root of 100, 10. So that um, similarity ratio, 4 to 10, we're going to substitute over here. 4 cubed is 64 times its cross product, 64 times 500 equals 10 cubed 1,000 times its cross product, 1,000x. So in doing the math, do this product, divide by 1,000, we get x equal to 32. So the volume of the smaller figure is 32 cubic centimeters.